Okay folks, it's been a while since uh, I showed you that last piece of work I was working on. That's still going, but in the meantime I sort of had the urge to do a, a bit of a looser piece with pens and stuff and this is sort of it now finished. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the tape off um, so you can see the edges because I often find that quite satisfying part of the process, taking the tape off. Um, what I've done with this one, and what I usually do, I use a low tack tape on the edges. So that's the first bit. It touches the paper and it tends to go off the edge of the paper, but because it's low tack, I then put a second strip of normal masking tape on top, just to hold it in place quite close. So you get the edge with the low tack, and that usually means it comes off quite easily. Um, but when you when you use the thicker tape, stand back a bit. When you use the thicker tape on the on the edges, you you got a bigger chance of ripping or damaging the edge. So here we go. Let's start here. We'll get this one off. I've already taken the outer layer of tape off. Fire on this side. So, let's get the ends on the edge. There we go. Seems to be quite a nice clean edge there this off. Okay, there's one. So now we'll start on this side. Oh, a bit of bleed through there. There we go, a bit of bleed up the top. You always get a bit on the edges, so part of the fun. Go bottom, nice crisp line mostly. You got mail. And finally, there we go. It's ripping there, why is that ripping? Yeah, so I use low mass, uh, low tack plus the bigger stuff because the low tack does tend to lift a bit. So when you've got the, the normal tape over the top, that then stops it becoming an issue. Uh, here we go, so I'll take a little thing round. I've used gel ink pens on this. It's a new one for me. It's taking, taking longer than I thought, actually. The piece of paper... Is a, it's not quite A3, it's a Strathmore Bristol board, uh, which I think is 11 inches by 15 inches, so whatever that is in proper measurement, I couldn't tell you. Um, so what I'm going to do next, the next stage, we're going to be varnishing that, and I'm going to stop now, and we'll come back when I varnish it, because that could be a big disaster, because I don't know how these inks are going to react to when you put put the varnish on. Um, yeah, so it's gone, as you can see, I don't know how detail we can get in, it's gone quite kind of, you can see a bit of bleed up here, it's gone very, what's the word I'm looking for, almost like oil pastel the surface, quite slick so you can actually smudge and get some on your finger still, so it'll be interesting to see how it reacts to the varnish. I will of course scan it first, so as not to lose the image, should it be a disaster. Okay, back in a moat. Okay, I've left her a couple of days to dry off a bit. Um, just to let some of the smudgy bits hopefully become a bit less spongy. And I'm about to do the first coat of varnish, I'm just showing some detailed here so we can compare before and after just see if it this spray varnish wrecks these pens or if it works okay just gonna switch off a sec get the spray ready then we will begin okay this is what I'm using the uh, Windsor Newton matte varnish professional I'm gonna give it an upside down spray it's out of shape just to uh, clear the nozzle and we're going to do the first coat now, left to right. So, in 
mai. Whew. Whew. There we go, get out the way of the big blast of air came through there, so I have to leave this for 10 minutes or so now. And we'll come back and we'll do another coat and another coat. So usually put about four coats on a piece just to make sure. Um, and we'll see how the paper performs on the inks afterwards. That it looks like it's darkening up a bit, so we'll see. Right. Okay, it's about a half hour later now, after the first spray. Some interesting stuff has been happening. Some of the blacks have gone back a bit and some of the different ink on top has come through, but I'm not seeing any real kind of bleed, which is my main concern. Like, that was like that before it was sprayed there. Uh, but it's quite nice what it's doing down here. So the, the pen on top of the thinner black ink has been bought up, you couldn't see it previously. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to give it a second spray now. Excuse the finger there. And this time we're going up and down. Um, I've already cleared the nozzle. Let's spray. Say that again because I was shaking. I've already cleared the nozzle by turning it upside down. But this one now is just a quick spray. So here we go, coming back. There we go. Whew. Okay, so we're going to leave this one for another half hour or so now and see see what else happens. Okay, third coat now. Um, it's drying quite quickly today because it's very warm where I'm spraying. Um, it's a warm day, which always helps. Uh, some of the details seems to have been pulled back out where the where the darks were there. They, that's kind of Contrast seems to have disappeared, which mm, is a bit of a shame, really, but we'll see. It might come back with a bit more spraying. So, yeah, more observant of you will notice that... I'll stop doing that, sorry. The more observant of you will notice that I've turned it upside down. This is just to change the angle for the spray. Uh, and I'm going to go side to side again on this one. Uh, but I won't bore you with showing you the spray. I'll just be back in a bit to put the final lot on. And we'll have another look and see how it's done then. Bye. Okay, after three sprays of varnish, I'm not seeing any real concerns to do with the bleeding. This has had a, a long dry now, been over over an hour. Uh, so I'm going to turn it round in a moment and give it one final spray. Uh, and then probably leave it till tomorrow and we'll have a look tomorrow, see if anything's kind of bled or moved, if any of these details are looking a bit washed out and just remember you know this the surface of this was smudging like almost like oil pastel so that's that's uh, if we can seal all that in with the varnish then I'll be a happy man and I'll, I'll use these pens again um, okay I'm gonna spray it now I'm not gonna bore you by making me watch I'm not making me watch making you watch so over and out Okay, we're back now, 24 hours after the last varnish, so the paper's all settled, the varnish is all settled. Um, it's made some changes to the image. I think it's worked with different inks differently. If I show you the range of inks I used on this, so here we go. We got, they were the underlying brush pens. Uh, and then we got various opaque ink pens mostly to go on top of the the brush pens as well as the black gel pen pens and I think what's happened the go over here, the jelly roll secure pens some of them have kind of sunk back into the image um, so the lights have got a lot darker in a way um, I'll, I'll, at a later point I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons pre-varnish and post-varnish and most dramatic will be the darks 
and the hair have kind of, they, a lot of it has disappeared. The dark colours, I mean, rather than the dark inks. So the dark inks are still good, but the colours have changed. Not in an unpleasant way. I quite like the the Vanish one, actually, because it's done some interesting things to the contrasts and the and the details. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you in here. You can kind of well, see brushes the kind of underlying colour and some of the black gel ink over the top has come up more, wasn't visible prior to um, prior to varnish. So I'll just I'll put my finger in here. So some of these brush the pen marks about here. Finer kind of gel pen in this area. They have come through more post varnishing. And then we go here and around this area. That was all yellow prior to the varnish. So the varnish has knocked out the yellows that were there, which I think might just be down to the gel pen I used. And areas up here where a lot of the light colours um, that I kind of put in with the opaque gel pens, they've kind of sunk back a bit and they're not as noticeable. Uh, that's fine, you know, the the colour saturation has gone up with the varnishing, which is good. Like me, a bit of colour. Um, details there, there's not really any bleed that I'm concerned about. Uh, so the details have held firm from the gel ink pen, the black ink. But the colours have been slightly twiddled with. So what I'll do now, I'll finish up, rather than touring you round. And I'll uh, I'll go away. I'll show you the before varnish and after varnish scans of the image, and uh, you can you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm rambling very badly about. So yeah, we go. We'll go up for a. That's the whole finished image now. And just old five, and there'll be some comparisons for you to have a look. Okay.